in your career you already done big budget sci-fi mm -hmm. movie Pirates of the Caribbean James Bond mm -hmm. uh, what made you what made you think that Rampage was different from any other movies that you've done before um, I read the script and I was moved by it you know I was I found it really funny it's um, I found it a roller coaster I was on the edge of my seat as I was reading it and I was really gripped by it and at the very center of it is the relationship between the silverback gorilla George and Dwayne's character Davis Okoye and I was moved by that relationship as well and also because these action adventure movies usually the female roles are just kind of appendages you know they're being dragged along as the damsel in distresses um, and uh, in this movie Kate actually propels the the action forward you know and she's she's a team with Dwayne's character like Dwayne's character needs her just as much as she needs him um, and I loved that you know I just thought she's a badass character which has been for you the funniest scene to shoot but also in the other way the most challenging uh, an emotional way Ooh, challenging an emotional way um, I think the challenging in the emotional way would be uh, when I um, reveal to uh, Davis um, about my past mm -hmm. as a geneticist and losing my job getting fired and uh, my brother dying uh, that's pretty an emotional mm -hmm. scene and the most challenging I think for me would be uh, all the airplane stuff because that was all done with wires. I was strung up to the ceiling on a plane that was at a 90 degree tilt and flying through the air, being thrown from one side to the other of the plane. I mean, that was tough. Mm -hmm. That was really tough. Yeah, yes. I, I, can, I can imagine <laughs> that. But it, this is not only, as you say, this is not only a disaster popcorn movie, also as a funny scenes and yeah. the core is about trust and, mm -hmm. and, and friendship. How do you work also with the other members of the cast and Brad in order to find the balance between all these different tones? Um, you know, it, it's all there in the script mm -hmm. and then you do your best and then what you have to have is someone like Brad Payton at the helm who um, is masterminding the whole thing and has the ultimate vision in his mind and knows tonally where you're at in each moment in each beat and I just I cannot credit Brad enough because I read this script and um, I read a lot of scripts but mm -hmm. this one really you know stood out and I really loved it and I thought this is gonna make a really good movie but it's not a good movie it's a fantastic movie and that's because of Brad and because of his his vision and I, I'm blown away by what he's created as an actress, do you change your approach to a role when you know it's going to be a big budget movie like this? Mm -hmm. Or maybe when it's going to be a more personal independence, more movie mm -hmm. like, just like, I don't know, uh, Moonlight or mm -hmm. Collateral Beauty, for example? Mm -hmm. um, the, approach is the, uh, the approach is always the same. It's always ultimately about getting under you know, the skin of the character. Um, I'm not. I'm not a quite a shy person in real life. I'm not shy, but I'm not an extrovert. That's for sure. Um, so uh, if, if I'm too, if the character is ever too close to me, um, or I feel exposed as Naomi, then I feel very uncomfortable. So I have to have a shield of the character um, and so that's really important to me so I have to do a lot of research to find the person so that um, yeah I feel comfortable in their skin and that's the, the same no matter what movie I'm doing.